Hi guys, it's Carissa and I am going to do an empties video for you. I had previously collected a bunch of things, I feel like a really long time ago, like four or five months ago, and it wasn't that much stuff, honestly. And I just decided to recycle it and, you know, dispose of it appropriately because I thought, I don't know if I want to do those kind of videos anymore. Well, I think I've discussed before that I feel like I always have too large a container to collect the items so then it feels like a daunting task and I want to be able to talk about the products not just show you the products so I think this is a good way of talking about things that I've used and whether or not I'll rebuy them rather than just dedicating a whole video to that and I find that it does really help me actually try to use the products up rather than buy things before I really need to because I have something that I could already use. The only reason I have so much stuff here right now is because we recently cleaned out our shower and Mike um, kind of helped us minimize the number of products that were in there. So a lot of these are shower related. But I'll tell you that I'll never stop having like three different kinds of shampoo and conditioner in the shower. That's just how I am. I feel like my hair responds better to the like three times a week that I wash it when I use different products um, and alternate. This first product I have had for so, so long and I stretched it out quite a bit. This is the Nexus Salon Hair Care Color Assure Shampoo. I believe I received a sample of the conditioner and shampoo in a birch box. And I think I had a coupon for it as well Ugh. Um, that I don't know if that was in the birch box also or or if I found it somewhere. But this was nice because it was sort of an inexpensive um, alternative to like on the days when I'm not going to really style my hair or if I'm going to just wash my hair and go right to bed. I don't care about using quality ingredients. Well, I don't want to say quality ingredients, but I, I don't care about um, what do I mean? Like, you know how some days if you're going to style your hair a certain way, you purposely will use a certain shampoo or conditioner so that it'll help the styling process out or have the end result be more what you're looking for. Products like this don't tend to really do that much for my hair, but it makes it smell good. And Mike has some weird attachment to the way this smells. He loves the way this smells. He says it makes him feel, like, happy and safe. It's like something from his childhood. This has just got to go. This is from Trader Joe's and I feel like, have you ever, oh, there's stuff all stuck to it. I'm not gonna hold the bottle up too closely. It's just a face cleanser. I probably bought it three years ago or something, um, maybe not that long ago, but this is the Trader Joe's Nourish All-in-One Facial Cleanser. I think it's an olive oil formula. Maybe I just assumed that because it's green. Yeah, I don't think there's any olive oil in this. Green tea. There's green tea extract, like a very small amount. Anyway, this is totally fine. It's super mild, but I was just rotating it with some other products. I must get a lot of face cleansing products in my birch boxes because I felt like I just didn't ever really need this because I always had samples that I was using also. So there's still a little bit left in here, but seriously, I just don't think that's sanitary anymore. It's cruelty free though, so it's no animal testing. There's a little bunny. This is the Baby Corn Soaps Blueberry Stud Muffin Handcrafted Biotin Shampoo. This stuff smelled so good. Ugh. I love this shampoo. It's the best shampoo ever. Um, and I do rotate it with a few other products because it almost makes my hair too soft and too shiny, if that's even a thing. This stuff was fantastic and I used it all up. Took a, a long time too to use this. It's great stuff. This is a sample size of conditioner that I purchased where I have my hair cut. This is the styling line that they use there. It's Numa and it's organic. This is, right, is it? I think that's, they switched to like all organic products there. And it's good stuff. It smells really uh, spa-like. Yeah, just, ooh, I just wish you could smell it. And it makes me feel so relaxed when I smell it because I must feel that way when I get my hair done. But anyway, I like this stuff, but I don't want to use it exclusively because I feel like my hair gets used to it really easily. And that's the whole line, the shampoo, the conditioner. I have a hair mask also. Um, and this was one of the sample sizes I bought when I first wanted to try it out. This I must have had for so long that I can't even remember why I bought it because I used to buy, you know when it also does the liter sales? 
of um, like the professional shampoos. This is what I used to buy in the shampoo and conditioner. So I don't know why I had this size at any point in my life, but this is the Matrix Biolage Hydrotherapy Conditioning Balm for dry, stressed hair. And I have always loved this stuff, but I have since stopped purchasing it. Oh, I love the way that smells. This we have used so many of, but I actually finally thought to save a box to show you because once you've used up a bar of soap, it's gone. So there's no empty product to show you because um, usually you've already thrown away the box. So this is the packaging for the bar soap that we've been buying and using ever since we tried some of this. I think I found it at Marshall's and I have been ordering it on Amazon ever since then because we love it. It's not drying at all to the skin and it's this big giant fat bar of soap and it lasts so long. So this is the Scottish Fine Soaps Company Olay, which means it's a milk soap. A uh, cow milk soap. I always thought this was goat soap. Why did I think that? The packaging says they're against animal testing. I absolutely love this soap. And Mike likes it too, so that's a bonus because I don't have to buy two different kinds of soap. When we cleaned out the shower recently, this had been, this had just fallen to the back of the hair product graveyard that was in the shower caddy and I didn't even realize I still had it. And honestly, there is still products left in here, but I'm going to throw it away. I really don't think anyone could benefit. I'll see if my sister wants it, but I just, I'm so disappointed in this that I just don't even want to curse anyone else with it. Um, this is something that I must have had a coupon for or something. I don't know the reason why I own this because I think I purchased it quite a while ago. I grew up using Paul Mitchell product and I like there's something sentimental about the way it smells because I'm so used to it um, from back then and I don't think I ever ran into a Paul Mitchell product I didn't like until this one. This is the Color Protect Reconstructive Treatment and it's part of the Color Care line. And there's probably about this much left. It's a, it's, it's still a good amount. It's probably more than half left. I felt like every time I used this, I would have the driest, frizziest ends. It's almost like it would damage my hair somehow, um, just from having used this. And I combined it with several different shampoos and I tried to let it sit for longer or not sit as long. I don't know why I gave it as many chances as I did. And I even used it as one of those just washing my hair before, you know, like just taking a shower before bed kind of things. Don't care how my hair looks in the morning. And my hair looked a mess in the morning. There's something incredibly drying about this product, at least for me. So I am no longer going to keep this. Almost done with the shower stuff. This is the Numa hair mask that I was telling you about. This is the moisture intensive mask. Love this stuff. Oh, looks like I missed missed a little down there. Um, a little of this stuff goes a really long way though, which is nice. Um, and in fact, I think anybody who starts using it for the first time might be surprised by how much they feel like they've overused the product at first because it takes so, so little to get great results. So um, I've already repurchased this. I like this stuff a lot. This is the Lush Sympathy for the Skin Hand and Body Lotion. I think this is the banana one. Bananas and cocoa butter. This is amazing. It smells like banana cream pie. This particular batch was made by Rhea. Thank you, sir. And I love this stuff. I wish I could drink it. It's the best. This <laughs> is a cosmetic brush that came with a product that I've been using and I am throwing it away because it is terrible. This is, I don't know if you can see just how badly this sheds. It just, you can just pull hairs out of it. I could just sit here and do this until it's empty. This is the brush that accompanies this product here, which is a um, hair fill-in powder and a gray coverage powder. And it just sheds like crazy and I'm not going to use it anymore. In fact, I've been using this, I think this is a concealer brush by Eco Tools, which is really pretty, but it's super stabby and I think a little bit too rough and too firm for the under eye area. So I have started using it to kind of densen the uh, hair loss I've experienced in the front of my hair. Densen, that's not a word. You have to be careful with how much you use because if you use too much, it will fall. Um, but I just sort of section off 
an area in the front of my hair where my scalp is showing through quite a bit. I've already kind of put it on here, but, um, and then I stipple it into the area. I don't want to fill it in completely so that it looks obvious, but I just want to add a little bit of color to um, make it look like I've got hair where I don't in there. And hopefully that's something that's only temporary. I picked this up at the Beauty Plus Salon in the mall. It just says fill in powder. I don't know who makes it. I have the dark brown. You can sort of see the picture here. And it says it was $18.99, but I think with tax I paid $12, so it must have been on sale. I don't know. This is a Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief Moisturizer Sample that I received, I think, in a Sephora purchase. And I was excited to try this because I think this is a pretty iconic and pretty popular product. And I did not like it. I don't know how it would have been if I had applied makeup over it, but I used this on a day where all I did was I took a shower and I just sort of moisturized my face and dried my hair and I sat down at my desk and worked. I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't going to wear any makeup that day. And my face felt really sticky all day. Um... I don't think that I applied too much product, but possibly I did. But just something about the finish of it afterwards just felt really um, sticky and tacky. Not wet. It felt like a dry stickiness. It was really strange because um, I have used products that feel too greasy. I almost kind of like that. Um, this was like a tackiness um, and my I could just kind of feel it sitting on my skin. So, um, and also I don't think Clinique is um, cruelty free, but... It was a sample, free sample, I tried it, didn't like it. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is one of the 75 dry shampoos I've received in a birch box, I'm pretty sure. I have decided that I don't care for this line. I have tried the shampoo and the conditioner, and this is supposed to be a line that's very smoothing to the hair, and I find that it is not. It feels like too much product buildup. It feels too heavy in my hair. It makes my hair feel dry and brittle and um, and angry. It just, my hair does not like this stuff. Um, and it feels that way about the shampoo, the conditioner, the, I think I had a like heat protectant or something, um, which I no longer have. And this dry shampoo is no exception. It, it's that kind of stuff that's, this is for somebody with really oily hair and a really oily scalp because it's intense. It leaves a super white residue. It makes my hair instantly turn really brittle feeling and dry and I can't brush it out and it's just too intense. Um, and I offered it to my sister because I thought she might be able to use it. And she said that it didn't sound like anything that interested her either. She really doesn't have um, enough of an oily scalp either to use it. I used it a couple of times and I'm just not a fan. I love the concept of Juice Beauty, but I do not like the products. And I have tried so hard to like them uh, time and again. And I think a lot of the time I like them the first few times I use them or for the first like week or so. And then after that, I just feel like I'm not getting any benefit from them. Um, I don't like the smell of them. They smell sort of spoiled to me. Every single individual product that I have tried of Juice Beauty, I don't like. And I'm mad that I even own this because I felt bullied into it because I walked into Ulta on a day just for extra... I walked into Ulta on a day when I needed my foundation and I was completely bombarded by a Juice Beauty representative. She was a very nice girl and I know she was just doing her job. Um, but there was almost like a certain amount of desperation in her delivery, like maybe she was being watched by a higher up boss who was with her or something, because it was a hard sell. And I tried to be very polite and decline, but she just pushed, pushed, pushed. So I ended up buying a foundation and a kit with some sample size uh, face products. I hated the foundation. I tried, tried, tried to use it for so long, even on like no makeup days. Um, or if I was just running errands and it was very sticky and very, it had a super white cast to it, really heavy on my face. Um, <clears throat> and this is the antioxidant serum. I actually put some of this on today before I was apply getting ready to apply my makeup because I thought, oh, I might as well use that up. But I forgot the reason I hate this stuff is if you try and do anything else to your face after you apply it, including sleep on it, it pills up, it like balls up into these little flakes and chunks of grossness. 
and I had to rewash my face and start over and I was so angry and this is why I'm filming this video today and I remember that the first time I tried this stuff I put it on my freshly washed face before bed and I woke up to all these little tiny sort of rice sized like skin balls on my pillowcase I was so grossed out by it and I realized it was from this so I'm not gonna use this ever again and I'm gonna stand my ground the next time I see a juice beauty representative the last thing in this container is one of my favorite products I have ever used before ever but I hate the packaging this is the brush bath by it cosmetics yes I have purchased two of them um, I thought that I had a defective package the first time because it stops spraying after a while it gets clogged and the next time I bought a container of it I thought this time it'll be fine and it did the same thing so there must be something about the formula that is sort of oily and prevents the um, it sort of clogs the nozzle and I know I can run it under hot water and stick a pin in it and whatever but ain't nobody got time for that and I this is kind of expensive I just want it to work so my grocery store carries these awesome uh, sprayer bottles I have one for rubbing alcohol and one for water I just picked up an additional one for my brush bath and I have them all labeled so I don't spray the wrong thing in the wrong place but it see how you can see it, it sort of separates it has this uh, slightly oily bit here you just have to shake it up and then you can take a clean tissue or paper towel or um, I like to use washcloths and if you want to use a brush that is dirty you just spray the tiniest little bit you don't even have to have a full spray you can just put the littlest bit on your cloth it, the instructions say to spray it on the brush but I feel like it goes uh, it goes too quickly that way you can tend to overuse it you can just scrub your brush into it and it cleans it this brush got stained by my eyeshadow but it's clean now this works so well it even works on my foundation brush and I am such a fan of this stuff um, if you have a brush that you know you you're using for blending and you put one color on and you want to use it again you can just put a little bit of this on it and then immediately dip the brush into the next color and keep going it's great it's the best stuff ever they need to change the packaging to a gut trigger gun spray or like this because I can't imagine I'm the only person who has had that problem right so that's it that is the end of my empties video I'm sorry if it was too long I will try super hard to do it more frequently so that the videos aren't as long leave a comment and let me know what you used up recently and if it was something that you have a good story about why you hated it why you loved it and I will talk to you guys soon thanks for watching bye